Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought it would be fun to go really quickly through the construction of the basics hat with a twist. I recently got my hands on a smart doll that my mom was willing to lend to me and I've just completed the second pattern for her. The hat from the basics pattern is not lined based on its original directions, but in this case you can make it easily reversible by following these steps. To get started sewing our reversible floppy hat for the smart doll, I've already cut the pattern pieces out. I've applied the fusible interfacing to the lighter weight fabric. The first step before we actually do any sewing is to clip in toward the curved and round edges of both the hat crown, the hat brim, and also along the side of the hat band. Once we have that constructed, we're gonna go ahead and place the band right sides together and sew the short sides both on the lining piece as well as on the exterior piece of the hat. We're going to press the seam of the hat band open and then we're actually going to attach the crown of the hat to the band. With the band seam pressed open, we're going to grab our hat crown. What I'd recommend you do at this step to make it easy is to fold those circles into quarters. So you're going to fold it in half and then in half again. And then I would just give a little press mark right there so that you can pin that to the hat band matching the quartered sections of that as well. When you're sewing the band to the actual hat crown, you want to be careful not to create any uh, unnecessary tucks or puckers in the actual construction. So one thing I'd recommend if you have a sewing machine with a speed control is to just put it on a slower speed and allow yourself time to make it around those curves. Looks like it went together really easily, so I'm going to give that a nice press around the edge. At this point, if you wanted to, you could do a few more clips into the seam allowance to make that seam lay a little bit flatter. We're going to repeat these same steps with our lining. Now it's time to attach the brims. We're gonna do it in the same way that we did the previous steps by folding the circle in half and then into quarters and giving it a little bit of a press and then matching those marks to the actual hat band. You want to check both sides to make sure that you didn't make any mistakes or make any puckers and I think in general I think we did pretty good so we're going to go ahead and repeat that same step with the lining. We have just two steps before our hat is complete so it's at this stage that you want to trim back any of those seam allowances if necessary and also give the hat a really good press. Then we're going to place the lining to the actual hat. We're going to sew it around the wide side of the brim leaving a small opening to turn it right side out. At this stage, we're going to trim the seam allowance around the outside of the brim, and then we're going to get the hat turned right side out. Let's give it a quick press, and then we'll tuck in that opening, and we'll hand stitch it finished, and we'll get those final pictures on the doll. Well, we made it to the end of our sewing tutorial and I think the reversible hat was pretty easy to construct and turned out great. 
Thank you guys for stopping by today. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please list any questions you might have in the comment section below, or if you have some additional tips that would be helpful in the construction of hat, I'd love to see that listed there as well. As always, I thank you for your time and for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.